In this video, I am going to show you at least seven ways you can select objects lying below other objects in Inkscape. We'll begin by drawing a circle. Choose the ellipse tool and while holding the control key down, draw a perfect circle on the page. Then give it a red color. Next, select the rectangle tool by hitting R and draw a rectangle on the page to sit over the circle. I want the circle to be a little bit exposed, but note that it can also be completely under the rectangle. The first way is to use Shift exclamation mark. Select the object on top, then use Shift exclamation mark. Click by the side to unselect all. The second way is to use Alt and click on the object. Select the object on top, then hold the Alt key down and click on the object and click again to select one on top and the one below. Click by the side to unselect all. The third way is to use Alt while scrolling the mouse wheel. Select the object on top, then hold the Alt key down and scroll the mouse wheel forth and back to select one of the objects or the other. Click by the side to unselect all. The fourth way is to use the Tab key. Select the object on top, then hit the Tab key to select the object below. Hit the Tab key again to select the object above. Click by the side to unselect all. The fifth way is to select with a zone not touching the object above. Pick the selection tool and select only an area affecting the circle below but not the rectangle. Click by the side to unselect all. The sixth way, you move an object out of the way, select the object underneath, then hit Ctrl Z for undo and the object moves back in place but the selection is not affected at all. This is, this is a little bit counterintuitive, but it works. Let us adjust the rectangle here to sit all over the circle. To select the circle below, move the rectangle somewhere where it cannot stand on your way anymore. Select the circle and hit undo to get the selected circle sitting under the rectangle. Inkscape developers may have deliberately let this work around for you. And the last way is to use the XML editor, which is a good way to select any object. And this is because it shows the full object hierarchy of the document. Call up the XML editor by selecting Edit, XML editor, or use the shortcut Shift Control X. Here above, you see element nodes. Here below, you have layer nodes, which you can select. Select this one or that one. These have been seven ways to select objects below other objects in Inkscape. The way you plan and execute your illustration makes it easy for you to later select objects. For example, having objects of a particular attribute in layers is a cute way to select objects using layers. Thank you for watching. If you find the video useful, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing by hitting the red button down here below if you've not yet done so. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.